Welcome all. <coughs> we are back after Toy Fair. Just got back yesterday, and boy, no, I'm not going to do it. Bad joke. All right, so we're going to introduce who you should already know. I just want to know what the joke was now. That my arms are tired? Like the most famous oh, bad joke flew. ever? Oh, I just flew. <laughs> okay, but we're going right. to skip that bad all joke, right. and we're going to go to uh, the I think we should leave it in now. Really, that was actually good. Okay, good. Uh, so we're gonna start with Anthony. We Anthony. all know Anthony. Yes, sir. And Tim. We all know Tim now. Hello. All right. So, uh, Toy Fair was fun. Got to see a lot of cool things. Um, I was very impressed with the array of, of different pop culture items. It was amazing. Funko was uh, impressive. It was surprising how many different things they were coming up with. Um, <laughs> Funko Candy. What else do they do? I actually have to look because there's so many different things. Funko Candy. They did uh, Paka Paka, I think is what they called it. Paka Paka. Paka Paka. Paka Paka. <laughs> they look cute. Uh, the album. They're doing the so Funko ridiculous. album. And uh, Snapsies. They're doing those as well. And board games are doing more than just the Funko verse. They're actually getting into some more specific board games board that look games. real like board games. I got to actually see them. Couldn't take pictures, of course, but. I uh, got to see them kind of play with them for a moment. They actually did look pretty cool. Uh, what are your thoughts, gentlemen? What do you think about uh, this, this, the new ventures that they're trying? Uh, the pack a pack is fine. Um, I thought they were really cool. The the ninjas are probably my favorite. Toilet ninjas. Toilet for ninjas. Sure. Um, albums. You, okay, no, we're gonna come back to albums. That's an acquired the, taste. The candy. The candy was. Surprising. Why? Just why? I, I, I'm hoping the candy's good. It's gonna be garbage. Well, uh, if it's anything like their cereal, then it's dude, I've heard so tasty. many bad things about their cereal. Yeah, not so good. Not so good. Uh, well, they're not known for their food. Sure. <laughs> uh, the not. album. I heard that it, the album <clears throat> wasn't actually in there. It's just a picture. Right. With the with the like the replica. figure. Right. Yeah. Right. And then uh, you can take the Different. you can take the cardboard off. And yeah. it's like an acrylic like shadow box, mm -hmm. and I'm like, it, was different. it was it really necessary? I I saw it, I saw the notorious B.I.G. one. I think it's the only one they. And I thought it was very cool. I would buy it. I, I would get it. it. Well, I'm glad somebody is like I. I'm a little. I'm on the fence of it. it, it <clears> I, <throat> my question again is probably like why? I just I, I I don't know if it was, if it was quite necessary. I would have liked it if the album was in it. But you see how many people. There's like music lovers. Like I'm a music lover. Maybe that's why I gravitated towards that. Maybe they do a Metallica one. Maybe, yeah, the album's not in it, but just the look of it's like, man, that's cool. I like that sh sitting on my shelf. You know. What I, I mean, mean, but as you... a collector and a music lover, I mean, look at they released the uh, pops of uh, Queen and Kiss and right, right. But wouldn't you then just get the pops and then get the album because you're a fan and put the album behind well, you, the pops? You already or have the album. Bad question. That's now what I'm saying. I love. Now I got. I got the. Okay, let's say. Let's say Queen. Of the album. Yes. Let's say I, I collected the whole Queen set. Now they came out with the the Queen album, greatest hits. Like, you know what I mean? I mean, it could. I'm, well, no. Okay, with the with them, like with their heads in the shadows. And Who knows how they, like, the, with the Notorious B.I.G., I love how they did the little baby. The little baby Funko. I that guess, was I don't cool. know, because it... I guess it really depends on the album On the cover. album cover. Yes, right. yes, you know, it does. I mean, some are going to be really cool, and then... I, I think it's you got to see I was it. surprised they went with that first. I feel like there's some more um, iconic covers. They could have done the that, Queen cover. Yeah. Notorious isn't a big name, It's it's of course, but... It, there are more iconic just covers covers that they could have done that I think fit it better you know like maybe the Beatles white album uh, that would be yeah. <laughs> that would be terrible I mean you got to look at who their demographic is I mean we're, we're, <laughs> where are we going to shoot for with the Beatles album releasing we're going to release this brand new album cover series of Funkos we're going to start with the Beatles or we're going to start with Notorious B.I.G., who the young and old, people my age and people and still in school, who they who they all look up to still. I was making a joke. I wouldn't want to argue with <laughs> I Beatles thought you meant, or Notorious well, no, I thought you meant the one where they were walking across the I think that's kind of a the anyways, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Beatles uh, like that. What's that? I don't know if Beatles like that. I, I, well, I think I there just, are a few people that know of the Beatles. Well, they might uh, sell a few. So, but either, either way, I, I just, I think it's kind of a stretch. I, I, 
I don't know if I'm fully on board. It depends yet. on like the album cover. More, they picked a weird first choice. I'd like to see more album I covers. I like the first choice. Leave us in the comments what please, you think. Please, please tell us what you think. It's definitely open and, here. We we're not for sure. I think we need to see more examples too, just yeah. to see they should what have they had truly at least two do. or three examples at that toy fair that they released. Well, I'll, I'll just be excited to see what the new ones will look like. And and back to the candy. I mean. I mean, is it? It's a collector like Funko, like a Funko. It's coll- it's a. The right ones that I've now. seen is like a sh- it's like the shape of a pop. Correct. It's like clear plastic clear. with like little candy pieces in it that so, look like beads. <clears throat> so if you eat it, does it lose its value if it's empty? I mean, is the is okay? So with the cereal, is it worth more with the cereal in the box or right. just the box? Well, that's a good question. So that, that I would say with the I get cereal this question in the box. all the time. So. Obviously, everything from being a brand new is going to affect the value. If you do anything to it, it's going to affect the value. Mm-hmm. Um, eating it is going to mm-hmm. is going to lose it. But they, 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 it's a six dollar or five dollar. It's a very low priced item. It's, yeah, I don't think anyone thirty years from now. Is you shouldn't be, like, be buying this to to probably sock away, and you should probably buy it to enjoy, which could include eating. So we it. tell everybody. Uh, always, always be do, and buy what you love. And so, if you love these Marvel characters and you like the idea of putting it out, then put it out. Doesn't matter if if they're going to grow in value or not. But if you are were trying to buy for value, eating them is definitely not going to help your case. Right. I like the soda. I'm kind of. De- Disappointed they didn't. The Funko con- Soda. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't continue the soda. I'm kind of disappointed that it wasn't <laughs> actually soda. <clears throat> I'm think I was. Kind- I didn't know if it was going to be or not. It was very hard. I was kind of bummed that it wasn't actually soda. Well, they've done soda before. Juice? There's well, nothing no, no. in there. No, no, no. It's There's just a, a figure. figure. No, the soda. Oh, the actual, like the bottle soda? Yeah. Well, I, they did that in 2016, at, at 15 or 16, at the pop-up oh, shot outside of Comic Oh, you guys are talking Comic about 17. the new soda cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah. I thought those so, are going to be actual soda. Yeah, I mean, yeah, those are I pretty I like cool. the display. The can is super cool. Yeah, I thought that's that idea cool. was clever. Yeah. Um, I like the, that there's the chase in there. Um, I, I, you know, Already they worth money. Of yeah. Course, instantly, wow. Instantly. I can't, that's yeah. what surprised me. Is like, how much was the, the, the what the He Man Chase already going for? I'm not sure. The Frankenberry. Yeah, the Frankenberry like was a, was about that last time I checked. Yeah. Year. Wow. Yeah. A decent amount. Well, it's a true one in six chase. It's nice because you know dealers can't can't pull the chase. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, everybody gets the, absolutely random. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you can't weigh them. Like if you with the mystery minis, yeah. or, or it's just usually different colors. There's no layouts that people can game. I mean, this is truly, truly, truly a chase, which yeah. is which is kind of fun to yeah. finally have something like that. Yeah. Maybe they will expand on that. Please do Funko. All right. Well, we've talked a lot about Funko. If you have any comments or questions, please, please uh, put them in there. We'd love to discuss it. Um, I'd love to find out what your thoughts are on some of these random ideas that they're trying. Um, I also. It seemed like this year is the year of uh, Baby Yoda, or the child, or however we want, you know, I guess we're going to find out a name. We could just call him Fred for right now, because that's probably the what they're going to call him. The child, I'm going to call him the child. Fred, I, don't tell everyone. Keep it on the down low, but that's what they're going to call him. No one's going to call him Fred. Well, it's already started. <laughs> I've, I've heard people are calling him that, so. Um, basically, everything that you could possibly <clears throat> slap that, that little guy's face on, they're going to do. I saw plush, I saw board games, I saw action figures, pops, Legos, boxers, t-shirts, boxers, backpacks, wart removers. No, that one wasn't true. They didn't do that one yet. <laughs> but uh, truly, it felt like everything. I feel like... Band-Aids uh, are coming. I f- well, definitely. Definitely. I feel like uh, we might be at the tipping point, but we'll find out in a few months when I'm the, whole world, uh, the whole world is Baby Yoda. <laughs> Already tired. Well, that's a shame. That stuff hasn't even come out yet. Do you want to see him yet? I think that, no. I mean, oh, okay. at least I'm okay with figures, right? There was that moving figure that was on one of the morning talk shows. Right. Good Morning America. They showed. Yeah, there was like a yeah. moving, like pretty realistic, you know. Hot Toys did a life size. Hot Toys life did a life size. size. Yeah. 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 So that's not bad, but I, I mean, know, I know a couple friends that bought one of those. Oh sure. <laughs> well, that's that. That's the thing. I mean, the pops are. We're, we're selling a ton of pre-orders. Right. Of them. I mean, they're. The I feel like figures are fine. The Black Series, I'm definitely... The Black a, Series. Dude, that's yeah. like... Oh, yes, yeah, sign me up. How much is that? How much do we, how much do we sell the pores for? Would it be weird if it was this big? What are you going to do with it? I mean, but are people... <laughs> You're not going to put them in but the But the fact the, that people would really diorama. buy... I mean, I guess the same thing with the pores. Like, people, yeah, really bought the, people really bought the Black Series Do you pores. want it to scale, or would you rather much? for it just this to be a monster <laughs> baby? 
I lost them all too. <laughs> <laughs> They're so small. You know, oh. Buy multiple baby Yodas because you will lose the accessories. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> oh man. So again, so we're so I'm I'm excited for all the baby Yoda merchandise. I'm just kind of excited to see like what kind of nonsense that they're gonna come up with, with with Baby Yoda's face on it. How were they gonna know that it was gonna gain this much popularity? And they knew. Did they, they put it in the writing in the future? You know what I mean? Did they plan on killing him off? Did they plan on giving him away? Did they plan on? I think they as soon as they thought it over and had somebody draw up an image and they're like, "This is what we're gonna do." Everyone went, "Aww." And they knew and that, that was this it. Was, and they knew that you're it was right. Gonna, I mean, I think you're right because they did that with the porgs. They kind of were. Remember, yeah. they were releasing all the porgs, and we yeah. we didn't even see the movie yet. And then we were like, apparently, all the pops. Yeah, there were a ton people are going to love pops. this. But this yeah. is also, I mean, you have a baby that, of course, everyone loves babies and that that innocence and that have to protect and. I mean, year old baby. A fifty year old <laughs> baby. That's right. I, mean, I, well, I thought it was genius. <laughs> I thought. Amazing that Star Wars was basically, in my opinion, was kind of at its lowest point in many, many years. Many years. Uh, the demand was low. The, the toys were harder to sell. The new trilogy the, the, didn't help at all. They, uh, at least the final movie was wasn't as bad for it, but but yes, it, it wasn't it wasn't helping the brand. And then Mandalorian came, and it just they changed. brought back. I don't know how many know. of you out there were like a few of us here. I I watched that first episode not knowing Baby Yoda. I watched it after the hype. Oh, I watched the first episode after the hype, so I was that's like, "That's sad." I'm sorry. For I was kind of irritated. I feel bad for when you. I saw Baby Yoda because of the hype. Maybe I should have watched it when the hype that, started. When that finger went up, it, spoiler alert: is it too late? It's too late. When that finger goes up, I mean, we all lost it. It was awesome, and so I understand that how delayed it was. It makes sense that they didn't want to leak it, and that you know, because uh, I didn't know it was awesome. I love being surprised. I wish there was more of that in film and television. I feel like nowadays, as much as I love being able to keep up with it 24-7, I know everything that's happening before it gets to the to Yeah, the that's screen. true. That's true. I know what characters are going to be. I know that someone's going to make a surprise cameo. Might not know when, yeah. but we all know he's coming. Wouldn't yeah. be nice if they kept more secrets. They, they did a really good job with, uh, with that. and Even they introduced us more to the IG bounty hunter character that we never really heard or... or got to see in any of the movies it was always in the background they made it a right. main character and then by the last they episode cool. we learned uh we were like loving this guy oh yeah you know what i mean and like sad to see him go so i thought that was cool it was really good really good writing yes yes all right so we're fans of baby yoda <laughs> Two of the three. All right, we'll take it. <laughs> and then uh, one of the biggest surprises I had at uh, at Toy Fair, it's actually not even a toy company, really. Uh, I guess they are now. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, Trick or Treat Studios. They do kind of like the mask, the Halloween uh, decor, and they do a lot of like the uh, the life size models and uh, life size replicas. But they're starting to get into toys. They're wading their toes in a little bit. I'm very excited. I saw um, who did they have? They had. Uh, Michael Myers. Michael Myers, Michael Myers from Ter uh, Halloween and Terrifier. Yeah. So I, they looked pretty good. The price point seems pretty fair. I think fair. that's the first Terrifier figure. I can't, I can't imagine they've done one before. That I've seen. Yeah. And that one actually looked the best out of all of them. It did. I, I, I'm excited to see where they can go from this. I'd love to see a toy or a toy line come out <clears throat> that, that really focuses on 12-inch scale. That Do you know what kind of scale. price point they had? They didn't really say, but it sounds like it's going to be in that hundred dollar range. Is it one six? It's one six. It's one six. They're like hot toys. Cloth clothes. I mean, they're. I, I don't know if they're going to be quite as the quality of the hot toys, but they're definitely not going to be the price. Cloth clothes. And cloth I mean, clothes. if if we just got one that just did horror figures in that twelve inch line, it would be killer. That's I'd what people love want. to see yeah. where they could go with it because you could really get deep into the well. And I know there's people out there that would buy it. So I've seen so many horror collectors come in and they're like. You know, we show them pops, but like I want something bigger. Right, right. Something, you know, something with so you can do more detail with it. <laughs> yeah. Do you have anything that will actually murder me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Speaking so. of, they had some awesome uh, replicas as well, like the wear pups, that are are very cute. I mean, just cuddly, cuddly little guys. Cute picture of Rob. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look pretty cool. The, did when I, when I saw the pictures, Is that from a movie you guys I've put up at Toy Fair was it looked cool. I mean, they look cool. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't. Mm. I, I'm not familiar too well, but I, I feel like they are because I. It's gotta be from a movie or something. I, it should be. Yeah, you can tell us in the comments, please. Look, Educate gross. us. But uh, uh, pups. they looked awesome. <laughs> looked creepy as hell. Uh, the Necronomicon. They're making a Necronomicon. Oh, it looked great. It looked. I don't I don't know. Like a Necronomicon. Ne I mean, Necronomicon. Necronomicon. Ne 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 Necronomicon. Ne <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it didn't look fleshy enough. Oh, that looked good. The book's supposed to be like flesh, like bound together. That's what I heard. Once again, I'm not we, sure. We, 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 uh, it's been a long time since I watched that movie. It's hard to make it make an attempt. Like when we see the Funko albums, it's hard to make it. Like when you see something on online, but then when it's right in front of you, I don't know how many times I've done that. I've seen something online or coming out, and I'm like, I am totally never buying that. And then when it <laughs> arrived in the store, I'm like, what? Oh, man, this looks way cooler than I thought it was going to look. So I, I feel I'm like there's both saying. sides of that. Then there's some that they <clears throat> those images look so cool. And then, and then it then comes they in and it's out, garbage. And just, yeah, oh and those, the God. paint apps look so bad. So yeah. bad. Yeah. They change articulation. I think, yeah, they do that on some of the likenesses of, of, of figures and stuff like that. Like, the face will look super authentic on online, and then when you get it, it's right. like the eyes are crooked. <laughs> <laughs> cross eyes. Yeah. They had, uh, they had stuff from, from horror movies that are a, uh, a bit less known. Um, some, like, zombie movies that were a bit less known that I saw mm -hmm. from the product shots. Mm -hmm. Underground. Um, they had life-size Chucky dolls. Oh, yeah. Not many companies do that. No, not that full life size. Not like full that. life size. I had I had a lot of people last year ask me for life size, and I had to direct them to Spencer's. I think NECA's actually offering one this year. <laughs> oh, I'm excited about the NECA stuff coming out. Yeah, they that Back to the Future set. Oh like, yeah. I was real excited for that. Now there was a Back to the Future, the like the movie realistic one. Right. And but then, then I thought the, I saw like, the cartoon. There was like it's a, just like that Toony Terror. Yeah, yeah, Toony yeah. Terror style. I thought the car looked cool. I. I I really yeah. like that cartoonish style. I think yeah, that's yeah. really fun. You can do a lot with it. I love the biohazard suit that, yes. the, that they're doing and yes. the alternate heads. Yes. And the whole thing. I'm. I'm they I'm always really treat happy. them so well. NECA treats their 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 licenses. More so turtles. Well. Oh, I'm so jealous. Oh man. Why? They're all exclusive, so I can't. Are they them. again? Just about. Oh my god. It's it's Who a licensing thing. They can't. Probably GameStop. GameStop again. Again. Well, it's they can't sell turtle masks. They just can't do it. They're, they don't have licensing for it. So they have to sell it through Target. exclusives. Like really? Target or GameStop or Comic-Con. That's why they do Comic-Con. That's why we're getting in the, the, the uh, video game ones because those aren't, because it's not uh, the movie or Interesting. television. Interesting. Those yeah. are different licenses. I didn't know that. And they cannot do it unless I thought it's they were exclusive. Just, I thought they were just... Well, look at the whole Turtle set, the, the 90s. They were all hard-to-find GameStop right. exclusives. All GameStop, yeah. 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 I mean, dude, I found... Found... Uh, some foot soldiers in at, at the mall just on the on the uh, on the rack just by luck they had just got in no one even knew it you know so but they were super hard to find offer up people I mean, just I, I would have arms and legs I would have loved to sell them but it yeah. just that's you know sometimes that's how it works yeah. that's, you know. so uh, now we're gonna go through our, our toy review we got a new uh, a new line that came in from a new game that hasn't even come out yet. So we already have the toys. Highly anticipated. That's game. true, but you can already play with the toys if you're wanting to play the video game. This can be a nice substitute. You can make your own video game in your mind. Who's playing the Who's playing that character? I don't. I you play against Johnny Silverhand? Yes. No, no. no. You he's, play he helps as you out. V. Oh, yeah. You play as V, and then, and okay. then counter reach helps you out. Oh, there. Of course, he has to be. He's yeah. like America's sweetheart. So, so Keanu, he's gotta be a good Keanu's guy. playing the main character then. That is incorrect. <laughs> V is the main character, and Keanu is just the dreamboat. The dream. He's not playing this guy, the cyber, the cyberpunk yeah, guy. Yeah, flip this around so it's we can. It's like look. you're not listening. So there are there are two in the line. <laughs> they have uh, no, V. This this guy right here. This is Johnny then, Silverhand. This right, is Johnny Silverhand. You play as V. Okay, you know, but Keanu is this guy. That's yeah. Correct. Keanu is Johnny right. Silverhand. It's the yes. figure I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You don't get to play as. Him. Oh, he's just on the computer? He's just... Brother he's helping you game? out. I said computer. <laughs> <laughs> he's just helping you out. Uh, but let's take a close-up look at this figure. Yeah, let's dive in. Let's, let's look at this figure. Right. You won't get to play. <laughs> so Here he is, Keanu Reeves himself, <laughs> playing Johnny Silverhand. I had to watch the trailer again to, to refresh myself here. All right. 
Uh, you don't get to see his eyes. Oh, you do. Kinda. I you think it's cool. Slight focus there on the face through the red tinted aviators. Let's try to pop him out here. Looks like he's got a a slight tab. McFarlane always cool with the uh, with the likeness and the details in the figure. I like the face. I like. The I face like is good. Even the outfit, the vest. The vest is cool. The vest is good. Let's, the emblems let's try are. To, the arm. Oh, look at that arm. Let's try to pop them out here. You know, shall we? With the scarf, very rockerish. Oh, we're gonna cut this. Let's just take a second to 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 appreciate and not appreciate how much care that went into this packaging. Thank you, McFarlane. Um, very much care. It looks good in the box. But then if you try to take it out, you spend about half an hour. Alright. Let's get the guitar there. Rock on fingers. What I assume to be a bottle of alcohol. And his sling for his guitar. Let's talk about this figure here. We've got single joint on the robot arm. Good detail, good paint. He's got the uh, the fret hand ready uh, out of the box, and he also comes with, as we showed you before, the rock on hand. Got double joints on. We don't have any hot water here. Uh, thanks to thanks to Tim, we don't have any hot water. Um, <laughs> double joint on the the flesh arm. Good detail on these tattoos here. Hold that still for you. See if I can get in close enough. Got some focus. Yep. Good detail there. Also on the inside of the arm here. There we go. Got it. Mm-hmm. Good detail on the tattoos there. Something we don't see too often. Somewhat of a butterfly joint in the shoulder. That's nice. Got some rings on here. Let's see. Let's see how these legs are. Any ab crunch? A little bit, but it's underneath of this vest that is not removable. Good detail. We got double joints on the legs. Ooh, ooh, nice and clicky. We've got a toe hinge. Definitely don't see that. Don't see that too often on figures these days. Um, the shades are part of his face. They don't come off. Uh, good paint detail on the hair. Good shading. Uh, good shading on the shoulders as well. Um, they could have made the butterfly joint the same kind of pink as the actual shoulder, but it's okay. Not too bad. Um, definitely some good paint detail on these pants here. Nice shading on the, what I assume to be leather pants. Uh, cause I mean, look at him. How could he not wear leather pants? Uh, Tim, anything to say about this figure? Yeah, um, what draws me to this figure is that I... If I was taking photos of this figure, it would be the uh, robotic arm. I'm really digging the robotic arm on him. Yeah, the tattoos and and uh, on this arm is is cool, but I think the detail in the robotic arm, the things he, you know, he, obviously he comes with the the horns with the robotic arm. So I just think, you know, creating a scene, a diorama, whatever kind of setup you have, displaying him with the guitar in one hand or just wrapped around them with the throwing up the horns in the other hand I mean perfect display of a figure cool f cool figure to display and and in great detail I, I dig the glasses too how and how they're see-through like real sunglasses you can see the eyes like through the sunglasses it's so, it's it's a bit it's a bit foggy but you can definitely see you can definitely they're see not Ray-Bans not Ray-Bans <laughs> but definitely cool Let's see if we can't get a, a decent pose here, shall we? Again, what is, and this is uh, 
Looks what like I assume to be some kind of Ciroc bottle, perhaps? Or maybe something from the game. Something from the game. Maybe like know. a signature drink? A power up. Power up. Life. Extra life. I don't know. Let's get him with a good... Let's get a good stance on him, shall we? Let's get a good... The leather leather is hard to... to, to Leather's uh, a, not a breathable material Spread the leg here. skis with. Very nice. Get him a good... See if we can get these legs going. So there you have it, guys. That is the Johnny Silverhand from McFarland Toys. Brad, what's the price point on these? I think they're around twenty to twenty-five dollars. Twenty-four ninety-nine here at Brad's Toys and Collectibles. There you go. And not bad articulation for McFarlands. I think they're they're getting a little better. I would say for the price point, this is this is a great figure. I, I mean, mean, the the articulation is good. Compared the joints to the are, old stuff. The joints are tight. You know, um, I'd say better than Marvel Legends joints because this is almost naked. Marvel Legends joints are kind of hit or miss. You know, sometimes they're kind of wobbly. Sometimes they're they're nice. You know, but um, I would say this is this is nice. Um, kind of disappointed there's not a double joint on the robot arm, but aesthetically. I don't see how they could have done it, so I'm not upset. Um, definitely warm water, if you're going definitely to warm water. Yeah, there are some stiff points here that I was a bit worried about, but I, I knew that I knew that Keanu could handle it. <laughs> if you'd like to pick up this figure, twenty four ninety nine here at Brad Toys, all three locations. Is the game out yet? The game is not out yet. I do not know when the game's going to be out. Okay. Uh, there's some gameplay. There's some trailers. Uh, I believe. I believe late this year I think okay yeah so if you're not sure about this figure or you're like why would I buy that just wait and when the game drops it could be I would buy this without even playing the game uh, it is a cool figure it is a definitely a cool figure but you know if you're on the fence definitely definitely check it check out the game two yeah, recommendations I mean, Keanu Keanu's not playing it because it's gonna be Sucky, you know what I mean? So, I think I think there's big things expected for this game. Right, they use his voice too. Yeah. Because sometimes I've seen they don't use the voice, they just use the, the character model. Oh, the likeness? Yeah, I've seen that a couple times. But guys, it wraps it up here. This is Brad's Thoughts.